grounding is this idea that we're just coming back into our body. So often we're just in our head. When we're in autopilot, we're not really in our body, but we are either lost in the past or we are thinking about the future. So grounding is any activity that brings us back into the body in this moment. A good way to do that is to just by starting to feel your feet. So you can feel the contact that your feet are having with the floor. You can do that when you're sitting, you can do that when you're walking, very simple. You can also look, you can just orient yourself really in the room instead of being lost in thought, really saying like, what am I seeing right now? You can focus on sound, you can use all of your senses. If you wanna do a little bit more of a formal grounding practice, you would feel your feet on the floor and then you would feel where else your body has contact with the chair um, that you're sitting on. So the legs, the back, and then you can focus on some breath and maybe also what your hands are doing in that moment. And you can do that without anybody noticing. So it's very simple, it's very effective, and you're right here. Another tool that we can teach to veterans and we can use ourselves is stop. The S means stop, T, take a breath, O means observe your experience, checking in with your sensations in the body, your thoughts and your emotions, and the P, proceed, proceed in a way that feels right to you. You might use stop in a situation that is difficult and challenging or where you notice really strong thoughts or emotions coming in. And it's just a way to check in with yourself and give yourself a little bit of space to proceed in a way that feels right. So another thing you can do at any moment during the day when you feel tense or you feel you need a little bit more support and you would choose a word or a sentence that has a meaning for you that helps you feel supported or helps you feel being more compassionate, mostly um, to yourself. So it can be something like, may I be safe, or um, this too shall pass, or it will be okay. It is like having the best friend with you, saying that to you, so to get you through a, a hard moment. Every doorway is a moment for a clinician to pause, become present fully in this situation, and then proceed. So for a clinician that is in a busy clinic where you're going from room to room to room, seeing lots of patients, this is an opportunity just to bring all of yourself into the room and fully attend to the patient. So as you can see, mindfulness is not complicated and you can do that whenever you remember doing something. So while on the one hand we're emphasizing that you really take the time for like five minutes, 10 minutes every day where you focus, for example, on the breath, these are tools that you can do throughout your day that won't take any more time, but will make a really huge difference in how you feel. <laughs>